Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial series with C programming. Really appreciate that you guys are still hanging in there. And uh, in this lesson, we're actually going to go through the if else if statement. So it's an extension of the if else statement. And um, essentially, I'm just going to start writing it out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow the previous tutorial. And all this stuff was from the previous tutorial that you guys have probably seen. We're going to evaluate our Jedi rank again. But this time, in comparison to what we did in the previous tutorials, is we want to evaluate our Jedi rank on multiple levels. So we don't want to just evaluate um, this first statement and then prove and then have an else statement. If this is false, then it resorts to the else. What we want to do is uh, have this statement, and then we're going to put a print f, and we're going to put uh, this equals one. You know, so whatever they put in one, and it's going to say, hey, it equals one. All right, so that's pretty narrow because you know there's all those other numbers out there. So we have we had an else statement that would capture anything else, but now we're going to add on the else if, and that allows us to write another statement. So we could put uh, if this isn't true, if it's false, it's going to move on to the next statement where it's going to go. If this is true, you know continue on and so on and so forth so we're gonna put two in here for demonstration purposes and then again we can put our code so if it if this statement proves to be true it's gonna execute this code if it doesn't it's gonna move on to the next thing so Jedi ranks two we're gonna have another printf that's let's say uh, equals two and then what we're gonna do is copy and paste this out copy that whoopsie Turn out of here, paste that in there. We're gonna move down here. What in the world? Paste that out of there. All right, it looks like I've already got some errors coming up, and that's because I haven't put semicolons to complete these statements here. So don't forget that. Okay, and we're also gonna change these because we don't want twos in all of them. Let's change them to, let's see, a three there, and a four there and a four there. So let me go over this because we're just kind of writing in our stuff. So now it's going to go if Jedi, if the Jedi rank is equivalent to one and that proves true, it's going to print this and it's not going to continue on through our statements. But if this proves to be false, it's going to move on to this else if statement and it's going to reevaluate the Jedi rank is equivalent to two. If that's true, it'll obviously print this off. It won't do anything else besides print this one. And then, but if it's false, it's going to move on, so on and so forth down the line. So essentially, we can we can take multiple different uh, comparative statements and evaluate them through our program to give our program a little bit more knowledge as to what's going on. So now we come up here, and maybe we just want uh, want our users to put enter a number from one to four. Kind of lame but it'll help guide our users because we've only set it up to evaluate these. So let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. So now the, the computer's prompting us and saying enter a number from one to four, we put in one, and it's gonna go equals one. And you see it doesn't do anything else. It doesn't put equals two, equals three, equals four that we have printed because of the statement that they've got in there. So now we run that again, and let's say we put in a four this time, we get an equals four. So you see how it just relates to the associated if statement that we've provided. Let's run it one more time. Let's say if the user did put in a five, we get nothing because none of our statements here prove to be true. And we don't have any L, any any else statement to say, hey, if it doesn't equal any of this, do this. We haven't put in anything like that. So it's, it's just resorting and ending the program. So that is uh, the else if no, sorry, the if else if, which is uh, which we'll use in further tutorials, and there's some other variations that we'll go over as well. So hopefully you guys are gaining an understanding of that, and we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.